telling you you cannot videotape on village property without a permit. Even if you are making a commercial or you're filming a movie, any videotaping in the village of Larchmont, you must apply for a permit. This is Susan Bassey, and I'm working on a story back in New York, and I asked if there was a local paper so that I could do some research, and the people that I was investigating didn't know if there was a paper. So I went on YouTube, and I found Long Island audits had already done a cop watch on the Larchmont police and that's going to come in handy. So I want to give a shout out to Long Island audits for contributing to some local news on a story that I'm working on. Hi, I'm Gwen. I'm Grace. Today we want to talk about advice we have for other kids going through this. Over the last 10 years, family courts all across the country have changed dramatically. Divorce cases that used to take one to two years now drag cases out for as long as 10, making divorce attorneys, court-appointed attorneys known as minors counsel or gals, therapists, and others a great deal of money. This is collectively known as the parental alienation industry, and now police officers are getting involved in order to enforce court orders to force children to go back and forth with parents depending on the way the money flows. No one can come into your home without a proper search warrant, and police will lie as if they have one, or transport agents will say that they have a right to come inside. These people are really good at convincing people to do things that they don't want to do. It is important to understand that these children are not criminals, they have not committed crimes, and they're not troubled teens. These issues involving police officers and private transportation companies are happening simply because of a divorce case, where there is no jury and where often the media is not watching. In private situations, we see children taken by private transportation companies. Maya and Sebastian missed over 10 months of school because of a family court order. Make sure to have your phone on you at all times. If a teacher tries to keep it away from you, then you need to explain the situation you are in. Advocate for yourself to your teachers and administrators. They should listen to you and do what they can to protect you. In California, nurses, teachers, and therapists are mandated reporters. That means if children or others report child abuse, those people are required to issue reports to CPS and the police about suspected abuse. However, children are concerned and confused about these laws because in California, parents are not to be notified if their children express a gender identity different than the one they express at home. But in family court, when parents are involved in a divorce or a custody case, the court has the power to appoint a minor's counsel or gal. This is B.J. Fadham. He is a transgender minor's counsel. And when B.J. Fadham makes a recommendation to the court that one of his clients wishes to change their gender identity during their parents' divorce case, if both parents don't go along with it, B.J. Fadham can recommend removal of custody from one of those parents, as he has done in the past. But now, California's governor has signed a new law stating that all judges in California have the discretion to remove custody of children from a parent who does not support that child's gender identity expression. It is also important to stay home if you're worried about something being ordered while you're at school. You can have a sick day or you can arrange to complete your schoolwork while at home. You have the right to free speech. This is the First Amendment. In custody cases, kids are not party to the case. This means that kids are not subject to orders made by the court. Years ago, when parents got divorced, they just worked out issues related to their custody and courts didn't get involved. But today, we see judges appointing attorneys for children and issuing orders about who the children will live with, how they will go back and forth, which schools they will attend, and we've even seen judges in Santa Clara County making orders about whether or not children could play softball. And so, it's not true entirely that children are not subject to these orders made by these judges, because today family court cases can see hundreds of orders issued and police officers have the authority to enforce those orders, even if it means going into their school. In Maya and Sebastian's case, after they were taken, they began to speak up on social media. Their father was ordered to take down their social media accounts, which he didn't do, and it is only because of that that we got a great deal of information about how this was operating, and as soon as the children were returned, all of the social media accounts came down, and now these children, Gwen and Grace, are providing information that other kids are benefiting from. You should speak
speak out if you're able. Social media gives us an audience. The court and judges hate being called out. They are terrified of their careers being affected. They'll try and intimidate you into stopping, and they'll try and intimidate your parents. You have to stay strong and know that they cannot do anything to you as a kid. You don't have to talk to your GAL if you don't want to. If you feel they aren't listening to you, then refuse. In fact, you don't have to talk to anyone. If you're forced into a situation, you can stay silent or leave. You do not have to cooperate with DCFS if you don't want to, or you can. But a lot of times, DCFS or CPS does not help and just causes more trauma. If you ever feel you're in danger, go live on social media. On public property. On public property. Okay. This I is need public property. It's also it belongs to the village of Larchmont. Reach out to others who can blast your account. Social media is your defense and your voice. Let go of the fear of what people might think. We know that being a teenager is hard enough as is, but abuse is wrong. It is not your fault that this happened to you. You will look back at this as an adult and be proud that you were able to stand strong against this corruption. Talk to the press, just like social media. Social media is changing the way information about the family courts is being provided to the public. But that information is coming from people like Gwen and Grace, Maya and Sebastian. It is not coming from traditional reporters. So listen to those voices, listen to each other, and listen to yourselves, because you can trust your intuition. Sometimes adults don't get it right, and that includes police officers, lawyers, judges, and even journalists. I'm going to be talking about one of the ways that our mother kept us controlled while she had us in prison. Uh, so one of the ways that our mother had us controlled was by putting alarms on the doors. She gave alarms to the transport agents while we were staying in an Airbnb with Regina Marshall, our therapist, and the transport agents. Cop watchers are what these children have grown up watching. They don't need a journalist or a court-appointed attorney to tell them what the truth is. They can see the truth. They can see how police officers behave when they watch cop watchers. And if all these kids being taken by police and private transportation companies start to learn how to record that and express what's going on, we're going to see some changes. Because when they start messing with the kids of people who have money, something is bound to change. Talk to the press. Just like social media, they can amplify our voices. Remember, this is wrong, and it should not be happening to you. And one day, it hopefully will be okay. In order to videotape anything on Larchmont Village property, anywhere in the village of Larchmont, you must apply for a permit. Where, where, are, you getting that, where are you getting that information from, Sergeant? Our code. 